Hello YouTube, um, this is my, once again, my XC's deck. I have made some modifications to it, well, a lot of modifications. Um, I took what some of you guys said in consideration and made, made some changes with, throughout the deck and the extra deck. Um, my secret deck wasn't the best deck, so I kind of combined it with my XC's deck because, um, there's a lot of good combos I can pull off with this deck. And I didn't mention this in my last um, video that I'm sorry that I don't have, you know, two or three, you know, solemn judgments and stuff. I, I like I said, like, oh, never mind. Um, my luck isn't just, just isn't quite good. And so, um,. I don't have a whole lot of money, so I try to get the best I can into my deck, and I want, and I mentioned this uh, last time, but I'm going to try to take this deck all the way to the championship. That's right. So, um, I do have a little bit, <laughs> a lot of competition on my hand. Um, won't be in the dragon duel. I'm only 13. So, but yeah, so, let's get going on the, kind of the new deck. I've kept Solemn Judgment, have my two Dimensional Prisons, Secret Barrels, if, in case I'm facing an Zector deck or a Six Samurai deck, because that gets a lot of cards um, on their field. So I can activate this and automatically have them lose a bunch of life points. Stuff like that. So that's that's kind of the good. That's one of the main reasons I put that in. I'm surprised that the last championship there wasn't any six samurais played. I mean I knew insectors would probably be played, but I didn't see any six samurais. So alright G break. It's just one of those cards where you know, just to have in case, in case you don't have a good card on the field, and just activate this and blows, blows up one of your opponent's cards. That's Scrap Iron Scarecrow, in case you don't have a monster, or if you have a really good monster, and maybe if you're going to Synchro Summon, or Fusion Summon, or whatever, the next turn, um, and just negate the attack and place it back face down. So you, you can you can use it again. It's good. Soul wishes in case you're kind of low on life points. Um, you know, draw one card, all that good stuff. Get 500 life points. Yeah. And then I had Starlight Road. I didn't quite understand the effect at first um, until I got started this dragon, obviously, and I pulled this in the pack. And, um, I read the effect, and I'm like, what? You know, how do you, how do you activate that? And so, I finally understood, and, you know, anything like, um, Dark Hole or Heavy Storm, activate those, you have more than one card on the field, you know, activate this, and you get the special summon Starlight Road, and negate the effect. So, yeah. Alright, so we move on to spells. High duality, it's it's a good card. Um, can't really explain it. It's just a really good card. I think it probation or prohibition. I think it's probation. Um, with my friend's deck, his <laughs> basically what he calls it is a nuke card. It's like Cyber Jar and Dark Hole and stuff. Um, basically activate this and he can't use it. So that's in, you know, when I'm facing his deck. But in Zectors, maybe like Ladybug or Hornet. Or maybe Mirrors. You know, Mirror Force, obviously. Yeah. Reinforcement of the Army. Obviously, with this deck is more warriors, so that's a good card to get. 
and then Warrior Return Alive once again. It, it's a good combo with those two. Warrior Return Alive and Reinforcement in the Army. It's also good when um, you're about to XC summon. Synchro Blast Wave. It's a good card when you have a Synchro Monster and you want to just obliterate your opponent's monster. One of your opponent's monsters. Synchronize Realm inflicts damage to your opponent every time you Synchro Summon. I've got only five synchro Synchros in this deck, but yeah. Shallow Grave, it's a revive card for both players, not just the one, not just you. Um, it's a good card if you, once again, if you know how to use it. Any card's good if you know how to use it. Yeah. Monster Reborn. Obviously, you all know what that does. Provides a monster from either player's grave. And um, I add two Mystical Space Typhoons, or, or as most people call it, MSTs. Um, just one of those cards that, you know, takes out opponent's cards. And then Swords of Revealing Light, in case I don't have a monster and they do and they can wipe me out in a turn, activate this and, you know, good luck. Well, they could, they could then ST it or, you know, activate Dust Tornado. I've got, um, Stardust, or, blah, Junk Synchron, sorry, two of those. You'll see why in a little bit. Have Stardust Exalong. It's good when you're synchro summoning Stardust Dragon, and um, if you have Majestic Dragon on the field, you can automatically synchro summon again, summon Majestic Star Dragon. It's a really good combo if you have the right cards. Majestic Dragon. It. I searched and searched for this card, and I finally pulled in a pack. I'm like, yes! Now I can Synchro Summon Majestic Star Dragon. Because I already had Stardust Dragon. So, I have Stardust Dragon, Shooting Star Dragon, and Majestic Star Dragon. So, yeah. I got Speed Warrior. Um, that's good for summoning Junk Warrior. And, um... If you have another junk war junk warrior on the field or junk synchron, sorry, you revive it and junk warrior gains all the attack of junk warrior or speed warrior. Wow, I'm not not really good with names right now. <laughs> road synchron, you know, road warrior. It's kind of good. Just one of those extra cards that I put in there. Then we go to some of my older cards I already had. Gaga Ga Girl and Gaga Ga Magician. Yeah. Kept those in there. It's a really good combo when those are on the field. I took out um, one in Warrior number one and one in Warrior number two. So I only have one of each now in my deck remaining. So I can still XC summon perfectly and maybe Synchro summon. I haven't used them in Synchro Summons yet. But I have kept Legendary Jiu Jitsu Master in case. You now that's face down the field. My monster, one of his monster attacks, it's flipped. My monster might get destroyed, might not. If it's not, then it might inflict life points. Plus, thanks to, thanks to its effect, that card goes back to the top of my opponent's deck. So. Zubaba Knight. I thought, you know, it's what what's to hurt, you know? It's got 1600 attack, for level 3. It's not a bad card. I've liked it. Um, I did have two DD survivors at the time, but then I took one out. So, I only have the one now. That's good when you attack and your opponent activates like Dimensional Prison or something. Sorry. Um, and it gets banished, and then you summon it right back to the field. So, yeah. Analyze Shock Trooper 
it's basically with this deck some of my plans are to overwhelm my opponent with some of my stronger cards and some face downs and so yeah you know it has 1900 attack so that's one of the reasons I put it in my deck I have a lot of monsters with 1900 attack a fighter its effect is really good when it attacks and destroys a monster successfully um, it gains 300 attack but if it attacks and its attack is not successful it loses 300 so it's good and bad I have Thunder King Ryo I traded one if I didn't say that in my last video um, once again it's one of those overpowering cards just to get out there on the field and my opponent cannot activate Reckless Greed or that would actually work against the effects of um, an Exodia deck with Librarian and stuff so and Six Samurais those cards uh, Go 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 Giant kept that in there he's pretty cool I've always liked them. The Fiend Mag blah, blah, blah. The Fiend Mega Cyber, sorry. <laughs> it's good when your opponent has more monsters and you don't have any monsters basically. You know you know, just special summon that it's like boom. I now own the field. What now? <sighs> Once again, Turret Warrior. Really need to get a better one. Yeah, I hope I can find one. Really do. I really do need one before the qualifiers. And that Beast King Barbaros. I got this in the Leviathan tin, um, along with number seventeen Leviathan Dragon. Um, it's pretty good at times. You know, you instantly summon it or tribute summon it three monsters. And it shows all cards on your opponent's side of the field. So it it's pretty good. Although, you know, Phoenix Chain can be activated at that time and negate the effect and it can't attack. So Alright, well that's it for my main deck. Now we're going to go on to my XC's deck. Or my extra deck. I kept the general sources. I actually think that the second one is a misprint because that one looks, the head looks larger than this head. I don't know why. See that? If you do, like, comment and tell me what you think it might be. So that's been kind of bothering me lately. Gem Knight Pearl awesome card. It's good when, in case Utopia is in the graveyard, for my deck at least, um, you have two level fours on the field, I'm actually summon this, and it's actually powerful, more powerful than the Gem Knight monster, or than uh, Utopia in attack, in attack wise. So. Then I kept Leviathan, obviously, it's a good card. I need to pay I really need to start paying attention to the effects and stuff because I know that when it didn't have any XC's monsters to it, material monsters to it, it can't attack. I didn't know that. So I gotta really pay attention to the effects of these dudes. And obviously number 39. Alright, so I also once again added synchro monsters to this deck. So I added Junk Warrior. I've always wanted this card, and when I pulled it in the pack, I'm like, yes! Oh my gosh, I can finally complete my deck. You know, this, I've always wanted this, and it's not a bad card either. So, yeah. I have Junk Destroyer. I've had this ever since the starter, the starter deck came out. It's not a bad card. So, it's effect is pretty cool. Road Warrior. Once again, Warriors <laughs> all over the place. So, yeah. 
and then the mighty Stardust Dragon limited edition. It's awesome. And finally, Majestic Star Dragon. Oh yeah. And I finally, um, for my sister's deck, or Pixie Knight 101 is her name, um, I've finally got into a trade and I got Red Dover, or, uh, Majestic Red Dragon, whatever the card's name is, but it's basically the Majestic version of Red Dragon Archfiend. So she has, I'm really mad at her because she has, she has Ancient Fairy Dragon and the full, she has Red Nova Dragon, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend and, um, Majestic Red Dragon. So that, you know, it's a big brother thing, you know, be nice, you know. Stuff like that. Um, I also did some videos on she and I dueling. Once again, her name is Pixie Knight 101. And this is Yu Gi Oh! E Man signing out. And remember, comment and subscribe.